protesters in Webster are calling on Supervisor Tom Flaherty to resign. They are also demanding other changes after a series of protests in town. Kayla Green talking to the leader of that group about what they want to accomplish when it comes to race in the suburbs. Being Black in the Burbs is a group dedicated to fighting racism in the suburbs. The leader says with Webster in the spotlight lately, this is only the beginning of making change. Tiffany Porter is the founder of Being Black in the Burbs. She says they just want Webster to move towards being systemically anti-racist through recreational programs and training, but says it goes deeper than that. Anti-racist uh, living is a lifestyle. It's not just a training and you're done or reading a couple books. It's a way of life. And so that's what we're asking for. We're also asking for the resignation of Tom Flaherty. He should be he should not be in a leadership position that he's in. Porter says the group started protesting in Webster after a post Flaherty made, stating he didn't agree with the protests happening in front of Sandra Dorley's house. In the post, he said he agreed with their message, but not their method. We are no longer taking the bare minimum. We want change and we want it now. And so protesting is one way to get change and get them to talking and then sitting down and discussing how can we go forward on um, moving their community towards that. Porter says the group's other goals include a firm timeline on a police body camera system, anti-racist training for officers and dropping protester charges from a recent event. In a statement, Webster police say they have body cameras being tested in the field now and are in the process of choosing the best system. They say the program will be rolled out as soon as possible. Regarding the recent protests, Webster police say, we support and encourage the exercise of First Amendment rights to speak and peacefully assemble. The chief invites protesters to contact him ahead of their events. We will help you find a safe place to hold your event so you can share your message with the Webster community. I have reached out to the town supervisor and most town board members for comment, and they haven't gotten back to me yet. In Webster, Kayla Green, News 8. All right, Kayla, thank you. Police also say the officers meet or exceed all state mandated training requirements.